All right, so we got Killer Clowns from Outer Space official how to survive a killer clown invasion. Let's get into the video. Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game puts you in the very oh, I know to survive. I know how to survive all these killer clowns. I I would just shoot them. Aside from all the killing that will obviously YouTube, I'm talking about the game. What do you do by the way, I'm not like, you know. Hello, I'm Jordan Matthewson. Hello, Jordan. Hello, uh, Jordan. I'm going to walk you through how to survive a killer clown's invasion. Okay. As a human, your goal is to escape the invasion with your life. This means you need to locate various escape routes and find the necessary items to open them before Clown Apocalypse detonates. There are several options when it comes to escapes for humans, all of which are randomized in placement and require a different combination of steps to open. Uh -huh. If you're planning on escaping an invasion successfully, you'll need to perform these necessary steps, all while evading and defending yourself from the killer clowns ooh, hunting you ooh, down. Ooh, ooh, the town ooh. of Crescent Cove is, well, located on a cove. It follows that you'll have an opportunity for a water escape, and as okay. it happens, there's a broken down boat dock. That's fine. I like that. Map. So there's like different ways humans to escape. I like that. Spark plug to repair the engine and a gas can to fuel it up. There's only room for three humans on the boat, so if you're in a group of four, you'll have to figure things out. On the oh, flip wow. side, if you manage to fix and start the boat on your own, you get to choose escaping alone or risking your neck waiting for the others. If while sneaking around you notice a large hey, I, hey, I'm structure, you found the bunker. <laughs> I'm double crossing my teammates. Escape. Humans will need to find the gas can to power the generator and a special access. Oh, so this is like a dead by daylight type of thing, right? Be sure to prepare for the door open because once it's open, it's open for a very limited time and only has room for three humans. After that, you're out of luck and you'll need to find another escape opportunity. Oh, three can take the this elevator and one can take the uh, boat. The ever vigilant Wesker Newton found a way to reverse engineer some clown tech, and well, now there's a portal to escape through. Humans will need to find a spark plug to yeah. interact to open up the portal, which needs to be held open for others to escape through. While you can hold it open as long as you'd like, letting go of the portal controls will cause the portal to start closing, but will stay open just bro, long you gotta, Bro, you gotta have a, 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 the bro, a master's degree in chemistry to, to learn how to do this. There are several types of barricaded gate exits that can exist around the exterior of maps. Finding a gate key will give you the ability to open up the gate that is blocking these derelict escapes. Due oh. to their dangerous state, these gates are barricaded with a wood barrier that needs to be smashed down with melee weapons, which mm. can be extremely noisy. Once through this barricade, you can use the gate key and escape through the precarious exit. If too many humans have tread through these areas, the routes will collapse, preventing any further what? escape. What? It's also worth noting that clowns have the ability to coat each of these escapes with cotton candy blockages. This prevents escape progress and must be cleared off Bro, before so you, you can can't continue do nothing. escaping. Watch out though, because failing quick time events while clearing cotton candy or interacting with escape objects can signal the clowns of your presence. While all of these escape Wait, options so are ideal, all four sometimes people things can't just even don't do go nothing. to plan, and you're left to die in the impending clown apocalypse. I am so fucked. Luckily, when there's True. 30 seconds left in the match, the Terenzi brothers crash through an exterior wall and provide one last escape route. It'll be up to any remaining humans to get there in time, and up to the clowns to stop them. <laughs> At zero seconds, the clown apocalypse detonates, which quickly covers the map and kills any humans that have not escaped. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest here with you. The studio have been having such an amazing time playing this and developing it, and we really can't wait to release this amazing experience for everyone to enjoy. We hope you have lots of heart pounding fun and killer clowns invading June 4th. We'll see you guys June there. June 4th? You know what? I might have to check this out. I might have to check this out. You know what? Here's one thing that I'll say, right? Here's one thing that I will say that I like about it. I like, like, um, and. You know, forgive me if I say this. Maybe there's like a name for it, but I like I like like the whole like search and destroy like type of games to where like you know, um, there's like a killer or whatever, and he chases down like four people, three, four, you know, whatever people, whatever. But I'm gonna be honest with you. One thing that I don't like, which is cheesy, and I understand why they did it. You know, it's too easy, I guess. But bro, you can't go nowhere with the whole squad. That's cheese. I'm gonna be honest with you. The the boat can't carry more than four people. Uh, sorry, the boat can't carry more than three people. So only three people can get the boat. Um, what else? Three people can't. Bro, bro, bro. The bridge. You telling me that four people can't walk across that bridge? That if four people walk across the bridge, somebody's gonna the, the bridge is gonna break? What are they all? Six hundred pounds? And I'm I'm not here trying to body shame or nothing. I'm just saying like, but bro, how is the bridge that fragile? Like, hello. Other than that, I mean. I mean, I would say that's like cheesy, but I understand why they did it though, because they don't want the game to be so easy. And they kind of want it to be fun. So, you know what? Props to them. I'm going to be honest though. I don't know who made this though. Who who made this? Terra. I'm sorry. Let me look at this real quick. Terra. Terra. Oh, I can't. Ooh, hold up. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. My, my whole tongue is discombobulated. Uh, Terra Vis. Terra Viskin. Terra Vis. Vis oh. 
You know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get to that name later. But other than that, man, comment down below. <laughs> I'm looking at that name. I'm like, hold on. I'm thinking like, oh, uh, Terror Vision, you know. But then I look, I look at the end of the war. I'm looking. There's like a SKD. I'm like, huh? Skidded? Like I'm like, I'm like, huh? Like skidded? Like what? What does that mean? But it is what it is. Other than that, man. Again, comment down below. What do you guys think about Killer Clown? It actually comes out June 4th. I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought that they were like still working in the game, but it comes out in June 4th. And um, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I would I would definitely play this game. It's like a uh, Dead by Daylight type of game. Um, I, I hate saying that. I hate like bringing up another game while describing another game. But I think for me that's easier, like for me to like give that to people. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Like you know, hopefully you get what I'm saying. Are you matching what I'm saying? No. Uh. Okay. All right. See you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.